Hello, everybody. Well, here we are again on the four corners of suburbia to ask unsuspecting passers-by a question or two. Do you think that teenagers are any different today from how they used to be? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> this is a different world now to what it was, isn't it? They are different, definitely. Teenagers. Well, I think uh, they're all right. Um, you have any teenage sons or daughters? I've only got this boy, but uh, I think I, I, I like the teenagers to uh, enjoy themselves. Did you enjoy yourself as a teenager? Did you look back on your past with pleasure? Yes. Yes. I wish I was young again. Do you think teenagers today are better or worse than they used to be? I think they're worse. You might have a reason. Eh? I have. And, uh, look, look at uh, look at the get up on them and them uh, drink five trousers there. <laughs> better or worse than they used to be? No, and good luck to them for all that they like. Because at my, when I was a teenager, as they call them now, my mother wouldn't let me do anything. Now, where did it get me? And now I'm a poor old lady left with only my memories. So what I'd like to do now, I can't because I'm too old. And good luck to the teenagers. <laughs> and I reckon they're all right. You, you know, you can't put a rope around everyone's neck. This gap is not something new. 2,500 years ago, the philosopher Socrates complained about the arrogance, misbehavior, and lack of discipline among children. But in our day, this gap between the generations has been widened by the commercial exploitation of teenagers as consumers. Teenagers are no longer merely adolescents. Today, they are well on the way to becoming a distinctive social class. This is a test recording on the Clarion reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. It is a two-track machine and has four transistors. The recorder uses three inch reels and runs at a single speed of three and three quarter inches per second. The play record head is orientated facing outside of the tape path and the tape reels run clockwise. Made in West Germany is stamped into the chassis. Germany is also marked on the Phonotrix branded reels. Clarion branding for this machine dates back to 1959. The recorder is often branded Phonotrix Model 2. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have very simple controls, play, stop, rewind, stop, if the machine is in record you cannot rewind, this switch here disconnects the speaker if you want to use the external speaker only, 
It also stops feedback while recording. We can see the capstan and the pinch roller are in the familiar positions whereas the head is pointing towards what would normally be the outside of the tape path. Some machines haven't fared quite so well over the years. Storage, transportation and leaky batteries have taken their toll on many an example. Before we go, Four Corners is celebrating its 50th birthday this week, and to mark the occasion, here's a clip from one of its very first programs, with reporter Keith Smith asking what people thought of teenagers and husbands in 1961.